Okay, so the best part about having a rental is that I can eat it in the car all damn day and not worry about dropping crumbs in it because it's not my shit. Alright. See, this ain't my shit. So I got rid of it. But there's a backstory to this shit. You feel me? So, Enterprise, I got an accident. And my bank, well, my insurance. What is this man doing? Oh, snap. He probably need help. Let me stop. <laughs> so, my insurance uses Enterprise for their rental, whatchamacallit, thing. So that if I get in an accident, I go straight through Enterprise and then pay up to $30 a day to up to $900 or something like that. Anyways. So, fuck. I shouldn't have did that. I just went to the dentist today, too. Uh. But anyways, that's beside the point. So, I go to Enterprise... They had this fucking bullshit ass Dodge Caliber that I had to drive for like a week and a half before they finally gave me a car that met the standards to my original, to my car, my, the car that I own. Now let me tell you the problem that I have this Dodge Caliber. Dodge is like a crappy ass automaker. They don't put any thought into their vehicles. The Caliber is such an old ass car. And like the argument that she gave me was, well, it's a 2011 and I'm like, and the reason why she said it is because my car is a 2011. And I'm like, okay, bitch, it's a 2011, but the Dodge Caliber was originally made in, like, 2006. And they, hasn't, they haven't updated anything in that shit. So, it's, like, outdated. Like, it's outdated as a motherfucker. And it can't do anything that my car can do. So, I'm stuck in a car that is pretty much, I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel as though a rental car company should put you in a vehicle that meets the standards of your original vehicle. So let's say I drive a Mercedes-Benz and it's like top-notch, uh, decked out with everything, full leather, full navigation, full sunroof, full tires. I feel as though if you get an accident, you should be in a car that is the caliber of your Mercedes. You know what I'm saying? Not just a Mercedes. You can't just give, the, just, you can't just give somebody a base model Mercedes. You got to give them something that is in the same... Ah, I don't know. Fucking, I don't know. I do know, but I don't know how to put it in words. But anyway, that's why I'm fucking upset. But they called me and told me that they had another vehicle in, which is a cruise, which is what I have. And that's what I'm in right now, so that's why it looks like it's my regular car. But anyways, so this car doesn't meet the standards of my car because it doesn't have, it doesn't do everything my car can do. But... The fact that it's a cruise, it, I feel a lot better because I upgraded from fucking a Dodge Caliber. You know what I'm saying? So, I can look past all that other stuff. And, yeah, they fucking helped me out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I just I just left out a big part. The reason why they couldn't switch me out um, for a different car is because it's summertime and they have a lot of rentals out right now. Look at this dude. <laughs> it's summer. <laughs> I don't know. I just think that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's summertime and they have a lot of rentals out because of it's summer and people are traveling. But my thing is, okay, it's summertime. This is not your first fucking summer enterprise. You've had summers before. It's not like this is the first summer of the fucking universe. We've had summers before. So you know that business picks up in the summertime. Why lose out on business if you can just have, like, why not get more vehicles in for the summertime versus not having vehicles in for people to rent and miss out on, on business? Like, that's fucking hella money that that car rental companies make. And the fact that they didn't have enough vehicles in for me to switch out a vehicle, it was like, really, it just really pissed me off. I was like, that's bad business for me and it's bad business for you because you, you, you can be making more money. You know what I'm saying? So, I was pissed about that and I was pissed that I couldn't get into a car that I wanted to have. Not necessarily a specific car, because obviously they can't do that every time. But 
give me something that meets my fucking standards. Give me something that's not going to make me feel like I'm compromising. You know what I'm saying? I don't fucking want to compromise. I'm not a compromising motherfucker. Especially when it comes to something like that. Of course, there's a time and a place to compromise. But you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, bye.